Okay, so I have my hair dry, and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take a clip, and I'm going to clip my hair out of the way. I'm going to do this in sections. You're going to take the side that has the guides, and the guides are always going to face your scalp. For your left side, you're going to come up over your head. You just slightly twist your, your wrist and I kind of sort of come down. The more that you pull straight out like this, the less curly your hair is going to be. So if you don't want as much curl, you're going to want to pull more straight out than down. For this side, you just keep it I'm just grabbing sections. It took me a while to get used to doing the back part. That was a little bit harder and I had to do it had to work at it a little bit more. So now I have that section. Now I'm going to do my next section. I pull this up, bring this hair down. Again, I take the guides towards my head. My left, did I say right earlier? This is my left side, but I use my right hand to come up over my head. Sorry. See, and I'm, for me, I kind of like to go kind of out and down. For me, I like that kind of curl. So as you can see, I'm kind of pulling this way down. But it just depends on what kind of curl you want. If you want it really curly, if you want it to be looser. Okay, then I go to my last section. I know they when they always show in these videos they never show sectioning your hair off and I I could not get it to look right without sectioning it. So again, I'm just kind of pulling out and down at the same time at a diagonal. Okay. 
So the next thing I do after I think I have it all curled is I kind of grab my hair underneath and pull it forward to see if I have any straight pieces. And wow, today it looks like I did a pretty good job. Maybe like right here, I don't really like this curl, so then I'll go back and redo that a little bit. That's better. Okay. So then I don't top, pull my fingers through it until I start using my hairspray. And if you want one that's not super expensive, I like Tresemme. So I'll spray my hair and then I'll kind of run my fingers through it. And then there you go. I don't know what the back looks like, so hopefully it looks all right. I'll give it one more good spray. And then this will last for me all day. And if I feel like it starts to look flat again, I can just kind of... Ch -ch and it's cute again. What I use in my hair before I blow dry it... I use this Moroccan oil treatment as a heat protectant and I have very fine hair so I also use this Aveda thickening tonic this stuff is awesome and that's that that took me all seven minutes with talking about it and everything it probably would have taken me a lot less time if I hadn't been talking but there you have it I hope that helps.